Thank you for watching Mountain Cooking with Missy. Today, I'm making Italian meatballs, y'all. And I'm gonna be putting them on a sub with some marinara sauce. So stay tuned. These are quick and easy. Hey guys, how's everybody doing? Hey, I'm really excited about um, what I'm about to whip up for y'all. <laughs> this is one of our family favorites around the house. Um, besides that good old mountain cooking, we like different kinds of foods. Italian's one of them. <laughs> and uh, like I say all the time, I'm no Italian. I am a mountain girl, but I do try to make some dishes that um, are Italian occasionally because my husband loves these and I am making Italian meatballs. Um, now there's no written recipe for this, so just follow. I'm gonna give measurements here. Um, and I these by nature really are low carb, but they are considered low carb because I'm not putting any kind of breadcrumbs or anything in these, okay? I'm leaving breadcrumbs out, um, but in its place, um, with everything else I'm gonna be putting in here, I promise you, these are delicious. My husband gobbles them right up and he can be picky sometimes, but these are Italian meatballs and they're really very good and very simple. You can freeze them, you can use them in a lot of different dishes, um, but these are delicious. And um, Roger and Mackenzie both love them. I love them too, they're very good. So what, I'm gonna tell you what they, um, what you gotta start out with. First of all, I started out with a pound each of hot Italian sausage. Now you can use mild, but we like our spicy. And I wanna show y'all what it looks like. This is Italian sausage. Um, these come in the links, so you just cut the casing off and put them in the bowl. But you can use ground or whatever, but, but you wanna use um, Italian sausage. We like the hot, so you can use whatever kind you want. That's a pound, and there's a pound of ground beef in there, and it's the lean kind. I got it on sale. You can use 80-20, whatever kind of hamburger meat you like. That is just ground chuck, okay? And what I do, oh, first of all, let me show you this. I wanna show you what all is gonna go in here. Uh, garlic powder, additional Italian seasoning, Red pepper flakes, which are optional. We like them spicy. I even add some extra, but you can leave those out. Some minced onion, some white pepper, Parmesan cheese, grated Parmesan cheese. Instead of breadcrumbs, I'm putting grated Parmesan cheese in there. Uh, some parsley. Parsley just makes them so good. A few dashes of Worcestershire sauce, guys. Every cook needs Worcestershire sauce around the house. I put it in a lot of dishes, okay? Worcestershire sauce, uh, a few dashes. Um, an egg is gonna go in here, and a little bit of half and half, or you can use cream or whole milk, just a little, or you can use evaporated milk. It just helps it all come together. But, um, so my hubby is over here watching because he's ready to eat. This is one of his favorites. He's over here, so what I do, is um he rigged me up this little thing here so i can move my phone so you all can see because i get a lot of people saying they want to see so this is how i do it i just mix you want to mix the two meats together now we i like a combination of the beef and the italian sausage you can do just italian sausage if you wanted but they wouldn't really be Italian meatballs if you didn't use Italian sausage. So what I do, I mix them, mix it all together, the beef and the sausage together first. And you can smell it. You can go ahead, this, the hot really ain't really that hot. To me, the hot, do you think the hot like just has a better flavor? Yeah. Yes. That's the reason I add, I'll go ahead and add a few more red pepper flakes because the hot's really not hot, but I think the hot has more Italian flavor than the mild. The mild is, don't really have 
To me, the hot just has a little stronger Italian flavor. So that's mixed up pretty well. So, so what I do, I just start putting everything in. So I'm gonna put my egg in. I just put it down on the side. I just take my spoon, kind of break it up a little bit. So what I do, I go ahead and put in my Parmesan cheese. Now just watch me, and I don't do exact measurements, but it's like I always say, as long as you're getting the right combination, you really can't have too much of much. As long as you all have it all together and the right combination, it's still gonna turn out. But if you want a real, if you want a guesstimate, I would say about a cup of grated Parmesan cheese is what you're gonna use, okay? And a few dashes of Worcestershire. And that's probably a couple of tablespoons. Some white pepper. And I wanna say about a teaspoon. Some minced onion. And I'm gonna say probably about a tablespoon. Some Italian seasoning, additional Italian seasoning, uh, probably another tablespoon. Red pepper flakes, again, these are optional. And I'm adding probably a teaspoon. These are strong. And these are Aldi brand, I love them, we love them. We put them in a lot of dishes. Garlic powder, and this is probably a teaspoon. Parsley, I don't know, there's just something about parsley in these that just makes them good. And I do a good little, that's probably I'm probably gonna do two tablespoons of that, okay? And your milk. See, it's a, it's a one. I just kind of eyeball it. It's probably maybe quarter of a cup at the most, not much. Smell. Roger's over here, he's smelling it, starving him to death. So what I do, I just, you can use your hands. I don't use my hands to mix a lot of things much. I have carpal tunnel, so it smells. You can smell it, today. I do smell. <coughs> Pepper making me cough a little bit, mm, but I'm telling you. So you want your oven. Now these are better if you bake them. You can fry them if you want. Preheat your oven to 350. And you're gonna bake these probably for about 30 minutes. Um, they'll start getting a little brown. And you're going to um, put them on a baking dish. And you're gonna make about one and a half inch size meatballs out of these. Really good. Yeah, Daddy can smell them. So you can add a little, um, if you didn't want to use the milk, you could use a little beef broth in there or beef stock. But I think they're just as good like this. This is how I always do them. I'm going to do just a little more milk. Yeah, and if you want to mix them with your hand, go right ahead, probably get done a little faster. But these are pretty mixed. It's pretty mixed and ready to go here. So let me show y'all what I do. Now the oven's preheating. 
what I do is I put them on a baking sheet. So I like, because I love extra virgin olive oil. So what I do, I just take my, my extra virgin olive oil and I just put some down on my pan. These are gonna get greasy too, cause the, now the hamburger's lean. There won't be a lot of grease in there, but the sausage has fat. Um, so they will render some fat here, but they'll be, uh, but that extra, extra virgin olive oil, I love the taste of extra virgin olive oil, especially in my, um, in my dishes. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show y'all how I roll them out into What I do, I pinch them. I want to pinch up enough to make about that size. So that's about a one and a half inch. And you want to put them on your baking dish. And try to keep them all about the same size. That way they all get done at the same time. I'm just going to do a few for you. Then I will stop the camera and get them all done. And um, Then I'll show you guys. Me eating. Yeah, you show Roger eating them. <laughs> so these are going to go in the oven. Your oven needs to be preheated to 350 degrees and it's going to take probably only about 30 minutes for these to get done you don't want to over bake them because if you over bake them they get bouncy <laughs> they get a little tough and you don't want to over mix them either um you want to mix all this just until it's all mixed and it's ready to uh to form into your balls and you don't want to over mix them and you don't want to over bake them because you don't want them tough. You want them, you want them to, when you put your fork in them, they just, you know, they're tender. Yeah. Hubby loves these. He's over here. Pacing. He's over here pacing, ready for them to be done. <laughs> so tonight, I tell you, we're going to be, we're going to have these on, we, we have keto buns that we get from Costco. So we're, he loves meatball subs, but they're not always the best for you when you're trying to do low carb. So we're just gonna put ours on the keto buns and top them. I wanted to slice them in half, put them on a bun for him and with a little marinara sauce, skeddy sauce, you can use whatever you want. And um, top them with a little mozzarella Mmm, and daddy be happy. <laughs> yes. So, all right. So I'll come back in just a little when I'm done. All right, y'all, they're done. Look at that. This makes around, let's see, 4, 8, 12, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20. This made, this made around 23 uh, meatballs. And they're about one and a half inch in diameter. And what I do, I just top them a little, uh, with a little extra Parmesan. And the oven is preheated to 350. They're gonna bake probably for about 30 minutes. Gonna keep an eye on them. They start turning brown, they're pretty much done because they're only about an inch and a half in diameter. Won't take them that long to get done. And, so they're going in the oven, guys. Look how good they look. Can't wait. Guys, look, meatballs are done. Mmm, so good. Now I'm going to put them on a bun here. I've got some spaghetti sauce heated up. And I'm gonna show you all how to make a good meatball sub. All right, y'all, so I took the meatballs, four meatballs, and cut them in half. I'm going to 
uh, put the, the subs here together. I'm making two for daddy. He's hungry. So, uh, I'm going to do, I'm doing two keto buns and these are low carb. I get mine at Costco. You can use whatever kind of buns you want. You don't have to worry. If you don't want to do low carb, don't worry about it. Just use regular buns or hoagies, whatever you want. So what I do is I'm going to, this is the bottom bun. And you're gonna put some mozzarella cheese On the bottom bun right here both of these are bottom buns the mozzarella on the bottom and I've got some spaghetti sauce heated up here so I'm just gonna put a little Spaghetti sauce on the bottom, just a little, and I'm gonna put some more too. Right there. I'm gonna lay the meat, the meatballs on here. They're good and juicy, look at that. They're so good. Daddy likes his meaty, but I can't get them all on there. Mmm. I ate one. I'm going to brush this bun here with some butter. I'm going to stick these under the broiler to toast a little bit, okay? You could add peppers and onions on here if you wanted. These meatballs can be used for a lot of different recipes, y'all. You can put them, if you're wanting to do low carb, you can do, uh, if you're wanting to do low carb, you can use spaghetti squash. We like chickpea pasta. Or if you don't have to worry about carbs or don't want to, you can use regular. So what I do, just top it with your sauce there. A little more mozzarella. Just a little. All right. So I'm going to stick these under the broiler just for a little bit to get the cheese all melty. Toast the bun a little bit. And, oh, let me forget. I am going to brush that bun with a little olive oil too. And let's toast them up. All right, y'all. Look here. Look at there. Mmm, daddy's hungry. Yes, I am. Daddy's hungry, so, all right. He's gonna eat, he's gonna tear into them. Now these, these Ooh. are one of his favorites. I should've changed it. <laughs> uh, he's getting ready to go to work, y'all, so. <laughs> all right. You should pick it up with your hand. Well, I told you he was going to chop into it. Chop into it. You're supposed to take a bite when you pause. He's going to get burnt. Mm -mm. Mm. What do you think, Dad? Now, these, you could top these with some peppers and onions if you wanted to. Mm. Look at that. Mm. 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 Can I have a bite? <laughs> no. I'm going to pick it up with my hand. <laughs> you can top it with some pepperoni. Mm. It's good. Mm. It's very good. Oh, mercy. Now they got a little spice to them. And yeah, red we, pepper flakes. Combine. Like, we like spice. 
Yeah, the red pepper flakes combined with that hot Italian sausage, these do have a kick. But if you don't really like spicy, I do suggest using the hot sausage and leaving the red pepper flakes out. And you'll have just the right amount of good flavor. But these are delicious. And They're fantastic. With that keto bun, it's low carb. And Daddy's happy. Daddy's <laughs> dripping. Yeah, <I'm> dripping. <laughs> Daddy's <laughs> dripping. So these, let me show you all these. These made around 23 meatballs. You can freeze these just like they are. You can mix them in some sauce and freeze them. Um, Dad likes to just get them out and reheat them when he needs them. I um, freeze everything. Yeah, they're delicious on subs like this or spaghetti squash, even spaghetti if you're not doing low carb. You won't miss the breadcrumbs, I promise. These are low carb. But you won't miss the breadcrumbs. You wouldn't know that they were low carb, would you? No. So, no. there you go, guys. These are my meatballs that I make quite often. And I love I meatball. <laughs> I think Daddy approves. I do, 100%. Daddy approves. <laughs> mm. All right, y'all. Okay, y'all. Thank you for watching. If you make these, let me know. Just go back and watch the video. They're really pretty simple. Uh, I will try, if I can, to do uh, a rest in the recipe section under photo albums, under um, that's titled recipes. I'll do my best to um, post a guide in there of how much I put in and what I did. But these really ain't that hard, and they're really good, and they're just good, delicious. <laughs> Daddy approves. He's wanting to eat. All right, guys. So if you make these, let me know. So, um, I know we're going to finish eating. I like to eat them just like that by themselves. Yeah, I've eaten two of them already. Mm. Just straight out of the oven. They're good. Be good with some sauteed veggies, whatever you want to use them for. Mm. Very good. All right, guys. Thank you for watching Mountain Cooking with Missy. Where it's nothing fancy. Just good. Just good eating. Bye, guys.